Now, I've got a feeling that you want to feed your family a beautiful, hearty, winter-warming dish, and I've got just the thing. It's a delicious soup. It's actually a hearty chicken noodle soup with cabbage. Sounds simple, and it is, but it tastes just delicious. Now, the most important thing when it comes to a good soup is starting with a good base. So I'm going to show you how to make a really simple stock, which actually will turn into the soup. The first thing you need to do is grab just a little bit of olive oil and pour that into a pan and then scoop up your veggies. Here I've got some onions, so that's gonna go in first. Beautiful. And I've got some celery and some carrots. So you throw all of that into the same pot. A little bay leaf, don't forget the bay leaf. Throw all that in and we're just gonna saute this down just for a couple of minutes. All right, so once it's been cooking for a couple of minutes and you can see you're getting a little bit of uh, flavor coming out of that vegetable, the next thing you're gonna do is pick up your friend, the chicken, which is gonna make this soup taste so good, and just gently lower it into the pan, and then we're gonna cover it with cold water. Right, so the idea here is you're gonna just cover the chicken. So, however big your pot is, use enough water to just cover it. So just give the chicken a little shake around the bottom of your stock pot and make sure that it is sitting on the bottom. And you'll see, as it starts to come to the boil, and we just want it to come to a gentle simmer, some of the fat's going to come up off the chicken, and as it starts to sort of simmer, a lot more of this is going to start to come up. It's important you take that off for the clarity of the soup and also the beautiful flavour. I'm gonna teach you how to skim a stock. What you wanna do is push some of that fat and some of those things to the side of the pot, and you do that by just sort of running your ladle around the top, and then you'll see you'll be able to skim around the outside just like that. So you see left in the ladle is all of those little bits that you don't necessarily want. Okay, so my last little skim over here, getting all of that frothy stuff off the top. It's only going to take 25 minutes or so until the chicken's fully cooked. And then just pop it onto a little tray just like that. We're going to discard the skin and then break up all of that beautiful flesh and put all of the chicken back into the stock. But the first thing you need to do is to take the stock, which has got all of that delicious flavour in it now, and strain it off. Once our chicken's cool enough to handle, just pick it up and bring it over here. Now, you've all done this before, probably for school lunches. There's a couple of things you don't want, which is, of course, the skin. So we're just going to tear that off and also the bones. So we're just going to shred up the meat. So you just basically going to peel the skin back like that and then just using your thumb, pull all this beautiful chicken and then just break it apart. So it's just cooked, it's beautiful, it's going to go back into the soup again. So you nice sort of decent sized chunks, just like that, doing both the breast and the legs. <laughs> so now that you've got a beautiful bowl of shredded chicken and a few other veggies, some carrot and leeks and celery, and of course, it wouldn't be a chicken noodle soup if there wasn't some noodles, so a little bit of pasta, what we're going to do is take just a, a wee bit of olive oil, and then start to sweat down these veggies. So add your leeks, add the celery, and your carrots. Beautiful. Once you've sweat the veggie down for about five minutes or so, you're going to get this beautiful aroma in the kitchen. It smells delicious. It's looking vibrant in colour. The next thing you want to do is pour your stock back over that vegetable. Beautiful. Now you can just eyeball this and sort of pour enough for four big bowls if you want and then you can keep some of the stock or you can just go ahead and pour it all in. Now you let that come back up to the boil and once it comes up to the boil you've got a couple of other things to add. First of all, your pasta. Now your pasta is going to take about 12 minutes to cook. You've got some chicken to add back into it and some cabbage. The cabbage is going to take just a couple of minutes. The chicken's already cooked but you want it to be hot. So I'd say give the pasta a five minute head start and then you'll be ready to go. Time to add your chicken back. So pop that in. Oh, look at that, beautiful. And then all of this gorgeous cabbage, we're gonna throw that in too. 
give it a good old stir. And in about five or six minutes, everything's gonna be cooked, the pasta included. We're just gonna season it and serve. Oh, this smells so good. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is add that little bit of parsley. Beautiful. You add that just when you take it off the heat and then you get this beautiful color through the soup. The easiest way to ladle this in is you wanna just pick it up and strain some of that stock out so it's more the ingredients. And then you can sort of pop the ingredients of the soup into the bowl and then you can go and pick up the stock. Yum. So beautiful. It's just, it's one of those amazing things to have in the fridge. It freezes really well and it's just, it's an absolute family favourite. Okay. Now, what I like to do is serve it with a little bit of grilled bread like that that you can kind of just break up and dip in when no one's watching. Mmm. <laughs> oh, wow. So delicious. For any time of the day, I tell you what, chicken soup this good, it's a winner.